Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome to day four of our at home body weight program. It's Natalie, Christian Placencia. We're super excited to be here with you guys. Today we have an upper body workout. Our skill work for today is going to be some lateral shuffle drills, working on some single leg bounds. Fun for the whole family, I promise. But first up, we have a warm up, and the warm up today is going to incorporate the basketball. Now, if you don't have a basketball at home, that's totally cool. One of us will be doing some body weight movements, so follow along. Uh, Christian will be going through those body weight movements first. I'll be using the basketball. If you do have a basketball at home, you can do this one round with the basketball, one round with body weight. And of course, if you have two or more people at home, you'll go through it just like we're going to move through it, which is one person works with the ball, while the other one does body weight, and then we'll switch. You ready? Good. Yeah, let's cool. do it. All right. So, each of these movements are going to be 30 seconds each, about 15 seconds in each direction. Okay, if you're following Christian, you'll be in a high plank for move number one. If you're following me with the basketball, we'll be working right here, this fingertip drill. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. All right, now if we've got this fingertip drill, we're moving from overhead to just about chest level. Again, just lightly moving that ball side to side using your fingertips. And if you're holding that plank right there, you've got a high plank, you're squeezing and breathing. We have about 10 more seconds. You guys got this, keep moving. Working on some hand-eye coordination here. Three, two, one. Relax, awesome. If you've got body weight, again, you're following Christian, we have a squat with a knee drive. If you're following me, we're just taking the ball right here around our head. Let's move. Just kind of loosening up the shoulders here. Try to keep your eyes up as you get this ball all the way around your head and grab with the opposite hand. If you need to keep both hands on the ball, that works as well. Awesome job, y'all. Let's switch directions. Again, if you're moving with Christian, we've got the squat and then pulling that knee up to your chest. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. You guys are moving through a hinge now. If you've got the ball, we're going around the belly here. Here we go. Again, just passing from one hand to the next. Can you squeeze your belly nice and tight? Can you keep your eyes up? If you want to make this extra challenging, maybe you even close your eyes. Whew, there we go, and switch directions here. If you're working that hinge, you can see Christian has that soft bend in his knees, and he's keeping his spine nice and flat, so he's leading with his heart there as he goes into that hinge motion. Three, two, one, excellent job. Now, down here we have side planks. If you're working with the ball, we're gonna go into the split stance, okay? We're going to go around our leg. Here we go, three, Two, one. So I'm just going in between my legs now. I want to try to see if I can keep my chest up and my eyes up. Maybe not even looking at my hands. If I need to look, that's okay. Otherwise, can I keep my eyes up? Can I move my eyes side to side? Let's switch directions. You got it. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Other side. Let's get set. Going in three, two, one. Here we go. Again, we're going 15 seconds each way here. 30 seconds total. If you're in that side plank, can you keep your hips off the ground? Keep those hips up. You've got it. Keep your eyes up. Good. And let's switch directions. Last 15. Stay low. Proud chest. Keep working, you guys. Almost there. We've got another five, four, three, two, one. Good work, good work. Awesome work. All right, last move here before we switch things up. If you're working with the ball, we have a figure eight. If you're following Christian, we have a lunge with a reach. So now we're going in between the legs in this figure eight fashion. At the halfway point, we'll switch it up again. Can I keep my hips low? Can I keep my eyes and my chest up? I want to try to be able to go through this without looking at that ball. If you need to look, that's perfectly okay. I hope you guys are feeling those legs burning on this one. Let's switch directions. We're almost done. Nicely done. Last five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, 
Great job. Excellent work. Now we're going to switch it on up here right now. Yep. All Perfect. right. So now it's got plank first. Okay, high plank. I'm going to go ahead and start here. 30 seconds. Ball in front. And then ball all the way up overhead. Again, you guys could probably hear us breathing throughout our warm up. We take that very serious. Why? Not because it's necessarily the most intense, right? Our warm up is to help us warm up here. But once we get into our workout, our breath is super important to help our endurance. So we like to kind of check in with it. Last five, four, three, two, one, and perfect. I'll go around the world. Natalie's gonna go ahead and squat with the knee pull, okay? Three, two, one. Again, breathing through, just like Natalie said, trying to pass the ball from one hand to the next. We'll go 15 seconds in one direction, almost there. Three, two, and then halfway through it, let's go ahead and reverse this direction here. Again, continuously breathing, allowing our chest to stay tall, right? Not leaning forward, but using our hips to stand tall. We're almost there, everybody. Three, two, one, and then I'm gonna go around my head. Not, Nat is now going to move into a hinge, okay? Three, two, one, again, 15 seconds in one direction if you're doing this here with me, and then 15 in the opposite, okay? Great job, everybody. Way to stay tall. Moving that ball around the head. We got it here for another three, two, one. And then I'm going to reverse my direction. Natalie is still staying active. So if you're at home doing your hinge, you got to soft bend in those knees, slowly going around for another three, two, one and awesome work. Now what we're gonna do here is our single leg, right? I'm gonna put one leg in front and then Natalie's gonna go ahead and go into a side plank here, okay? Three, two, one, we'll go 15 seconds here in one direction. 15 seconds, again, Natalie's breathing, driving her foot into the ground. We got about 10 seconds left right here, guys. Chest nice and proud for another three, two, one same leg, let's just go in the opposite direction here, okay? We're doing great. Again, 15 seconds, probably feeling that in the quads, and that's perfect. We want the chest to stay nice and proud, never leaning forward, okay? Three, two, one. If you're with that, you got your next side. If you're with me, I got my next leg, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. 15 seconds, y'all. Don't worry, if you lose the ball, if you bounce the ball off your knee, don't worry about it, y'all. Pick it on up and continue to move. There's no losses, right? We're just learning and getting better every single rep. Three, two, one, opposite direction. Matter of fact, if you're going fast, right, and trying to push yourself and push your skills, then it's pretty normal, right, for us to get a little tired, for us to lose the ball, perfectly fine, okay? For another five, four, three, two, one and awesome job everybody great job natalie thank you i think we have um, two more drills right just two more exercises eights. oh figure eight i almost messed that up see that's why we need a partner to keep us accountable <laughs> three two one and if you're with natalie you got your lunge with the reach okay again with me i got 15 seconds in one direction here okay doing great guys that one's just so fun couldn't have to leave it out i know you're right you're right Almost there, if you're with me, three, two, one, opposite direction now. And again, quads are probably burning, and that's perfect. That's exactly what we want out of our warm-up. Heat up our body, get our muscles ready for the skill and for the workout of the day. Last five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. Good job, Matt. Excellent Matt. job. Ooh. Just one more thing. Let's do about 20 seconds of our high knees, our butt kicks, and our Frankenstein kicks before we get into that skill work. Okay, okay. let's go. Here we go. Three, two, one, high knees. Now we're only working for about 20 seconds. Let's go fast feet. Keep those eyes up. Keep those arms moving. There you go. Light on the toes. Almost there. Another five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Okay. Bringing those heels to your booty now. Three. Two, one, go, go. We're right here. And you get those heels all the way to your bottom, light on the toes here. 
Staying tall. You can hear us breathe. Continue to breathe. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work, y'all. And last one here. Here we go. Frankenstein kicks. You can see we take that little stutter step. Find our balance. Tall through the top of our head. Reaching that opposite hand to toe. Trying to keep our legs straight. Last few kicks. We're almost done. Woo. Good job. And last one here. Perfect. Woo. Good job. Work. Hopefully you guys are feeling warm. I'm feeling nice and warm yeah. right now as well, right? Ready to go. Yeah. So let's get into our skill workout of the day, okay? We have 10 lateral jumps on each individual leg, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Just wanna break down the form for one rep, and then we'll jump in here, okay, together. If you wanna try out this practice rep, then just try it out with me, okay? So very important, guys, our posture when we do this jump is very important. So when I load my jump, what I don't wanna do is I don't want my chest to be right in line with my knee. Because if this is the case, this is going to help me jump up higher. But today, we're trying to jump laterally, right? Like a lateral shuffle, right? So what we're going to do here, okay, is you're going to see, I'm going to use my foot to step to the side, and my chest is going to be leaning in the direction that I'm jumping to, okay? I load, explode. Cool there? Let's do this together. Ten reps on each side, and parents, if you're at home, don't take these reps off. If you're trying to play on the court or trying to practice with your kid, playing a little bit of defense, the last thing we want is our knees or our quads or something to pull. So this is a good exposure for our body to make sure we don't get hurt. Cool? Yeah. Great challenge for the balance as well. Okay. So I'm going to go first here. Okay. Then that will follow right after. I'm going to load, explode. Awesome. Great job, Matt. Perfect. Load, explode. Perfect. Awesome. Great job, Matt. Low, explode. Awesome. That's three there. Awesome. Number four here. Low, explode. Perfect. Awesome. Number five out here. Low, explode. Awesome. Great job, Matt. Number six right here. Nice. Awesome. Perfect. Number seven right here. Great job. Here we go, Matt. Beautiful. Three more times here on this leg. Number eight. Hmm. Awesome. Awesome work. Matt, two more here. Okay. Great job. One more time. Perfect. Last one on this leg, guys. Oh, just below. And then I'll wait here. Nice. So then that's going to take my place. We're going to get our next side now. Nat, you can go first here. All right. Here we go, girl. Boom. Perfect. Great job. All right. Low, just below. Blow, explode. Perfect. Now, here we go. Blow, explode. Perfect. That was two. Perfect. This is number three. Boom. Perfect. Number four here. Awesome. Good job, Nat. Perfect. Number five here. Beautiful. There we go. Beautiful. Number six here. Here we go, Nat. You got it. Boom. Perfect. Number six here for me. Nice. Awesome, number seven here. Awesome, number eight right here. Beautiful. There you go, number nine here. We're almost there, guys, almost there. Beautiful. Last time here, here we go, Matt. Beautiful, last one for me. Yeah, great job, Matt. Again, parents and kids, hopefully you guys find that one very challenging. It's something you can kind of think about Right, as you're warming up, maybe next time you get on the court, it's something to really help your lateral strength, okay? Now, for the workout of the day, very similar to what we did on day one of week one, it's an every minute on the minute. So, what that means, we're gonna do three movements, back to back to back, as quick as we can, and we're gonna try to finish that as quick as we can in each minute. Ideally, we would finish with about, eh, 20 to 15 seconds of rest before our next minute, mm -hmm. right? Now, here's how we can kind of vary this, okay? You're gonna have different reps. Everybody's gonna have different speeds at which they move. For my rookies, okay, or for our push-ups, you're going to be doing 
four reps, okay? And then if you're an all-star, you've got six reps at the push-ups. If you're an MVP, you have eight reps at the push-ups, okay? So let's just break down that movement here real quick. Nat is gonna show you how we can do a level one, and then I'll show you the level two, okay? Natalie's level one, you can try this out with us, okay? Just to see what level you're at. It's from the knees, Nat is gonna go into a push-up, and then come all the way back up tall. This is our level one. Nothing wrong with going on the knees. This is very challenging still, okay? Now, for level two, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go onto my toes here, okay? I'm gonna do my push-up, and then at the top, I'm just gonna lift my leg, my leg for one second, bring it back down. Push up, lift my leg for one second, go down for a push up, okay? So it's just a slight lift of the leg. And again, my rookies, you'll have four push ups, okay? Six push ups for my all stars and eight for my MVPs. Now, the next thing we have is our tripod or our bridge. So Natalie's gonna show you level one, okay? And again, try this out so you can see what level you're at. Now, Nat's gonna be here on her back. She's gonna go one leg only, okay? Kind of like we did in our shooting drill. One foot is gonna be flat, she's gonna pop her hip on up, and then come right on back down. And she's gonna stay on the same side. Now, my rookies, you'll have three, okay, on each side. And then my all-star, you'll have four. My MVPs, you'll have five on each side. And again, this is level one. Great job, Natalie. If you're like, okay, that was good, but I could do something a little bit more challenging, maybe, then I'm gonna be here, and again, three rookie, four all-star, five for my MVPs on each side. I got my tripod, and then I switch up side. Tripod, one hand flat, both feet flat, as I pop my hips up, okay? Now, the last thing that we have is gonna be a high plank to a low plank. Natalie's gonna show you level one. Again, try this out with us here, okay, guys? So, we got a high plank, we're gonna come down to the elbows, we come back up, okay? That's one rep now for Natalie. Level one, she's gonna show you how you could just do this with your knees on the ground, okay? So again, elbows to hands, that's one. Elbows to hands, that's two. And again, my rookies, you got three. All-star four, my MVPs, you have five reps right there. And again, how can we make that one harder? It's just what Natalie showed, you just take your knees off the ground. Sound good, everybody? Now here's what we're gonna do just to kind of show you guys. We're all gonna do this together now. Nat is gonna do level one for like the first three rounds, and then I'm gonna do level two here for the entire time. I'm gonna try to stick myself at the MVP level for reps, okay? So I'm gonna be doing eight, five, and five for all, for all of them, okay? And then Nat is gonna try and stick at, go ahead Nat, you can tell him. I'm gonna stick at the all-star level, but if I'm feeling good after a few rounds, I'll pick it up a little bit. If yep. I need to make it a little bit easier, I'll drop my reps down. So I'll see how I, like I feel that. after the first couple rounds. I like it. Let's do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Push-ups are first on the knees or a leg lift with me, okay, guys? Oh, and perfect. Look, Natalie's knees are bugging, so she's just going to use a little bit of a towel or something on the ground to help the knees out, okay? In three, two, one, and here we go. Huh? Leg lift. Perfect. Four again, guys. Quick transition from movement to movement. Trying to move as fast as we can. You guys get to move at your own pace. Listen to your body and figure out okay, where am I at today? How much do I want to push myself? How much is my body giving me here today? Great job, Nat. Good work, good work. Awesome work. Perfect. So, we got about 20 seconds to that next round. That was perfect timing. I like that right there, okay? okay. Yep. So, keep the breath going. We're going to do the same thing, okay? Five seconds, y'all. Here we go. Round two right here, okay? Three, two, one, and here we go. Awesome work, everybody. Keep it on up, y'all. We're doing great. Six, seven, eight here. One more time. And perfect. Quick transitions. Two, three, four. Good job, Matt. Good work, awesome work back at home, guys. 20 seconds to that next round. 
So we're already two rounds through. Mm -hmm. Heart rate's feeling good. I feel like I can keep this pace up. Natalie? I feel like I could challenge myself a little bit more. So on okay. this next round, I'm going to go for the MVP reps. Okay. And then I'll see we'll how see I feel for that one. Yeah. Perfect. I like that. Round number three, guys. In five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, Nevin. Great job at home, guys. I know you guys are working hard. Try to stick with us or find the pace that is challenging to you. Great job, Matt. Mm -hmm. Good work, good work, you guys. Keep it up. One, two, three, four. Great job. Awesome work, Matt. That was round three, guys. Round four coming up 20 seconds till our next round. We're going to do 12 here today. 12 minutes, mm -hmm. 12 rounds, okay? Nat, how are you feeling? Do you want to do level one or do you want to do level two now? I'm feeling good. I might actually take more of a break this round. Oh, I might go down I like to it. the rookie level. I like that. And see if I can Perfect. modulate that a little bit. Five seconds. Always listening to your body, guys. Three, two, one. challenging part if you're doing things at the MVP level it's a little bit of a quicker pace mm -hmm. but it's okay if you're not there yet we still have so many more weeks to get better so don't worry 10 seconds till round number four yeah <laughs> have the worst ability to remember five four three two one here we go I'm gonna go back to that all-star level Try to challenge myself to keep the quality, but pick up my pace just a little awesome bit. Awesome work. Great job, Matt. Way to keep working, Matt. Great job at home, everybody. Nice. Awesome work. Way to listen to your body. Natalie is doing a great job of listening to her body. Figuring out, okay, when do I need to rest? When can I do more reps? Nicely done. Finish it out. Awesome work. Whew. Good job. Man, awesome job. Now, do you have to do MVP for all the movements? Not at all. That's where you can listen to your body and figure out when to push and pull. Okay? Round number five coming up. Okay? In less than 10 seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Whew. There, guys. Four. Oh, Woo. doing great, everybody. Keep it on up, y'all. Keep breathing. Keep listening to your body. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. If you need to grab water, grab water. If you need to take a round off, take a round off. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever, okay? We're coming up to round six right here. About 20 seconds, okay? Great job. Shake that off. Yeah. A Ooh. great challenge would be to stay consistent the whole time, but it's perfectly yep. okay to go up and down and just figure out where that sweet spot is. Exactly. I love that. Great job, Natalie. Five, four, number six, three, two, one. Push, pull. Great job, Nat. Nice work, nice work. You got it. Oh, yeah. I can feel my body temperature going up. Woo. I can feel my body starting to sweat a little bit more. And I like it because it's challenging me. I'm finding that sweet spot. Nice. Woo. Good job. Good awesome job. work. Good job. Nice. 
That was six? Got, yep, that was six right there. We got round seven coming on up. Great job, everybody. Keep it on up at home, okay? We're almost there, 10 seconds. 10 more seconds to that next round. Round seven coming on up. In five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Five, six. I'm gonna just go down to the all-star level now. Just because I'm starting to feel my body a little fatigued. I'm starting to feel a little tired. I'm starting to feel like my form is maybe going down a little bit. So I'm gonna meet my body where it's at. I'm not gonna force it. I'm not gonna push it into an injury. I'm gonna push it to get a good challenge, but never too much to where it hurts me. Awesome work. Cool. I'm gonna stand on up. I'm gonna shake that off. That was seven. We got round eight coming on up. Okay. Great job, Matt. Great job back at home. About 20 seconds to that next round. Nice bump, high five. Oh, oh yeah. Whew. Awesome job, everybody. We got about 10 seconds, okay? 10 seconds till we get that next round. In five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, did awesome. you just go up around? Or yeah. Yep, again? I went back up. I went back up to MVP. I took one round a little bit easier so I can jump right back into it at the MVP level. Oh, yeah. Nice, Natalie. Good Keeping me accountable. Work. Challenging me the whole time. Great job. Round nine coming on up, y'all. Round nine here, doing great. We gotta finish strong, we're almost there. Oh yeah, 15 seconds guys. 15 seconds to that next round. Whew. Great job. Just slowing our breath. We got it here guys, onto the ground here. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. I'm gonna go down again, so the all-star, my fatigue. Is getting there. So I'm gonna listen to my body. Number four here. Five, six, one more time. Because again, I'm working at the all star level. I'm gonna listen to my body. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Great job, Matt. Matt's working at that MVP level right there. I love that. Great job, Matt. Way to challenge yourself. Guys, we got three more rounds coming up, okay? Three more rounds, we're almost there, okay? Round 10 coming on up here. About 10 seconds. Using our breath, slowing our breath. Here we go, guys, in five, four, three. I'm gonna go for my knees now, two. I'm gonna go level one, one, and here we go. One, two, because I wanna get reps. I wanna get the MVP reps, but I'm gonna go from my knee now. And again, I'm gonna go here on my back. Three, four, five. I got five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then I'm gonna roll on over. Two. That's one. That's two. Three. That's four. Oh yeah. Great job. Awesome work. So you guys can see, okay? I went back down, I went to level one. Things are getting challenging. So I need to teach my body how I can still work hard, but at different levels. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, okay? Mm -hmm. Guys, two more rounds left. We got it, Nat, you feel good still? I feel great. Cool, awesome, let's Woo! go ahead and make our way to, that, to the ground. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, guys, continue to breathe. Keep your body in it here. Five, six, seven, Hey, great job, Matt. Ooh, I feel you work, working. Work, work. Guys at home, I know you guys are working hard. Keep your breath in it. Keep your body moving. Keep your body breathing. Three, four, five. There you go. Keep it up, guys. Here we go. Almost home. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Now, guys, we got one more round. I'm going to throw you guys a curveball. Let's not rest. Let's go right into it. If you need rest,
Go ahead and rest. If not, let's go ahead and let's do the last one. Okay, cool. It let's go, guys. One. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Perfect, guys. Great job. Keep it up. One. Two. There you go. Three. Here we go. Four. Here we go. Five. I'm halfway through it. Nice job. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Here we go. Great job, Matt. Great job back at home. One. Here we go. Two. Here we go. Almost there. Three. Two more. Four. And Woo! last one. Five. Great job. Nice job. Great job, Matt. Nothing wrong Nana. with a little friendly competition, making sure that you're pushing each other, but yeah. encouraging each other throughout yeah. as well. 100%. Now, guys, we're going to finish up the workout. Natalie is just going to take you here through a little stretch, and then we'll be done for the day. Okay? Go ahead and take it away, Natalie. Thank you so much. All right. I'm just going to breathe nice and slow here for three breaths so that I can talk. And just making sure that after the workout, we bring our heart rate down. Awesome job, you guys. Now, what I want you to do is go to your belly on the floor. So find a little bit of space. We are going to take our hands out to the side. So we're kind of in the shape of a T here. We'll look at our right hand, bend our right knee, and bring that leg up and over. This is called our floor scorpion. A little scorpion strike here. Our foot's going to touch the ground. We'll take an inhale, exhale. Try to relax your head on the ground. Two more breaths. One more. Awesome job. Let's come back to our bellies. Look at your left hand. Bend your left leg. Again, we're going to go with a scorpion strike here as we bring that leg up and over. Put the foot on the ground and we'll breathe here for three reps. Inhale, exhale, try to get your head to the floor. Two more. Last one. Awesome job. And let's just come right up here, pushing our hands into the floor. Take two more breaths. Last one. Before we stand on up, just bringing our feet up, shaking off our arms. Again, giving your high fives, congratulating yourself and those around you. You guys did excellent today. Again, we were right there with you, so we know what you're feeling. We just want to close out with this today, our journal prompt. I hope you guys are enjoying these journal prompts. Again, either just thinking about them, writing them down, or sharing them with your family members, right? Today's journal prompt is, what does it mean to be coachable. So if you were a coach, what would be the qualities that you would look for in someone that is on your team, one of your athletes? Again, what are some of those top qualities in someone who is extremely coachable and why is that important? Hope you guys have an excellent day. Good job and we'll see you tomorrow.